this is his best season to date. I thought that he had a shot at it in 2018, and he's already on pace for a better pitching war than he was in that year. But often when a pitcher wins the MVP, it's because there's not a deserving position player. And I know we're talking about how bad offense is this year, but that's not really true of Acuna or Tatis. I think especially you mentioned this, if Tatis can go 40-40, or even if he can just lead the NL in both stolen bases and home runs, I think it'll be really hard to, to not vote for him to win. But like you said, DeGrom is helping himself out on offense too. I think he's got almost half a war at the plate right now. So, you know, maybe his best shot ever. For me, I, I think about what DeGrom's doing on the mound, and I would say if he can go out there and continue to be, I don't think he'll continue to put up quite the same numbers. Obviously, he'll still be the best pitcher in the game, but to me, if he can be historical, if he can be historical this year, I would say he was somewhat historical in 18, but if he could be historical this year, that puts him right up there with those other two names that we've seen. Obviously, what Tatis is doing, he's doing it in a limited amount of time. He's been on the IL twice, so that's extremely impressive. And if he can stay healthy, who knows what can happen. But you never know what can happen. So could he win it? Absolutely. I think he has a chance. Uh, you know, it's, it's really going to depend, as Hannah was saying, on what these other guys do. If they do get to some 40-40 type numbers, I mean, DeGrom's going to have to put up uh, uh, and under one and, and do the things that he's well, he's already he's going to have to have a better year than the Bob Gibson year, yeah. which is going to be incredibly difficult to do. And I love the idea that Hannah brought up of DeGrom at the plate being a potential one plus war win above replacement offensive player. How fun would that be? 